This is the Samsung Galaxy A24 and for about 2700 Ghana CD, this actually comes with the Helio J99, a 5000 mAh battery, a 50 megapixel main sensor and other stuff that I'm going to share with you in this video. Without taking much of your time, this is my review. Let's get it. As usual, let's start with the pricing. This is going for 2799 to 2999 depending on the RAM variant that you go for. There seems to be only one storage variant for this year's A24s. To begin with, the device has a pretty familiar device just like most of the Samsung A-series this year. They all kind of look the same. And for the build quality, we have a glass front, a plastic frame, a plastic back, and as you guys know, I like an inbuilt fingerprint sensor in comparison to the in-display, so I actually like this one. At the bottom, we have the Type-C port for charging, a speaker, a microphone, and a headphone jack. On the left side, we have a dual SIM card tray and a dedicated memory card slot. At the back, we have a triple camera system and a flashlight. This is actually really expected. I like the fact that all the A-series devices actually look the same. So if you pick one of these up, somebody can actually mistake this for or any of the more expensive brothers. So that's actually really cool. I like the fact that it's actually very simple looking at the back. And like most people might say, plastic is even more durable. So the plastic doesn't really worry me so much. I really wish it could actually stand, but it doesn't stand because the sides are actually a little bit curved. So that is it. So design, I don't have any issue with it. It's actually really cool. Now let's talk about the screen where I have a lot to say. So for the display, this is an AMOLED panel at 6.5 inches. It's 90 Hz and has a peak brightness of 1000 nits. And yet it's a 1080p panel. Not only is it bright at 1000 nits, colors are vivid due to the AMOLED display, just like most of Samsung's AMOLED displays. My little drag was with the animation. The 90 Hz wasn't as smooth as I thought it would be, but there was a quick fix for that. All I had to do was to go to developer options and reduce the animation speed to 0.5. And then I like what I saw on the screen. You're actually going to like this display. Just like most Samsung devices, the display is actually really cool. I must admit the chain at the bottom and the dewdrop at the top is kind of what you get for this price point. So that is the only thing I might not like so much. The chain is actually really big and the dewdrop at the top is not the prettiest. But the fact that this has a thousand nits of brightness, when you're using it outdoors, it's actually very usable. So the brightness on this display was really good. Unfortunately, we didn't get a stereo speaker setup. You have a single speaker setup here. It sounds decent. But I'll always choose the stereo speaker setup over a single speaker setup. Also, whilst we are here, let's talk about the fingerprint sensor on the side. I like getting into the device with the fingerprint sensor. It's one I prefer over the in-display anytime. Unless it's an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor in the display. That one I really like. So now let's talk about performance. For performance, this comes with the Helio G99. We have Android 13 already installed with One UI 5.1. And it looks like this year around, we only have 128GB of storage for 6 or 8GB of RAM for you to choose from. So when it comes to performance, the performance on the Samsung Galaxy A54 was actually really okay. Most of the things that you throw at this, it will be able to handle it. Normal usage, phone calls, social media usage, you will be fine. I even tried Call of Duty for a couple of hours and was able to play at medium graphic settings at high frame rate. And the gameplay was actually way smoother than I expected it to be. The gameplay was actually really cool and the device didn't get hot to the touch, so that was actually really cool. This is what the Geekbench score was. And you can see this is even higher than the TechnoSpark 10 that I reviewed a couple of weeks ago. So that is really good. So when it comes to performance on here, this was actually really okay for the price point. But if you decide to overburden it with multitasking, doing a lot of things at the same time, you're definitely going to see this slack or lag a little bit. But in general, if you're a casual user, this will actually be okay for you. And as usual, you're going to get three years of Android updates and one year of security updates for this. So in like 2026, this will still be okay. So now let's talk about the cameras. For the main sensor, we have a 50 megapixel main sensor, a 5 megapixel ultra wide, a 2 megapixel macro, and a 13 megapixel for the selfie camera. And pictures from this are actually very decent for the price point. Like I said, most of the pictures that I took from this actually have more colors to it, and this is what they look like. The selfie pictures were actually really cool, especially when it comes to dynamic range. But as usual, it was a little bit oversaturated for me. But what we have from the main sensor was actually okay too, but the dynamic range wasn't really the best. Most of the highlights were overexposed. Okay, so this is the front camera video test on the Samsung Galaxy A24. I'll definitely be comparing it to this. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below, the skin tones, the dynamic range, the microphone. Let's get interactive in the comment section down below. I want to know what you think about this. Let's get it. Now we're testing the rear camera on the Samsung Galaxy A24. What do you think about this footage? The skin tones, dynamic range, microphone. Let's work a little bit. Let's see the stabilization. 
what do you guys think about this let me know what you think about this footage in the comment section down below as usual let's get it now let's talk about the batteries this comes with the 5000 milliamp hour battery installed and supports 25 watts of fast charging and depending on how you use this you should be okay with it a 5000 milliamp hour battery can easily last you during the day but if you're somebody that takes a lot of videos and play a lot of games you might find yourself charging this at least once around three or four during the day before your day ends so in general what do i think about the samsung galaxy a24 for the price that it's going for i can actually complain a lot about this when it comes to design and the build plastic is actually cool so i don't have any issues with that when it comes to the screen, I really like the brightness on this. The fact that it's a thousand nits. So if you're using the outside, it's actually going to be okay. So I really like it. The colors are also really cool. The chipset found here was also very cool for the price point. I actually enjoyed the performance from this. It didn't lack so much for me. So that was really cool. Battery life, okay. Cameras were also kind of okay. Cameras weren't my favorite, but it was actually okay for the price point. So in general, this is my review of the Samsung Galaxy A24. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe. And I'll see you in my next upload. Peace. I'm out.